Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and this is my Ender 3 V2 Neo that doesn't like me. And I really don't like it right now. Um, this thing was printing great until it wasn't printing great. Uh, I came downstairs to check on one of my 13 hour prints of my 8x8 grid, not this one. And um, the, the nozzle was like millimeters, maybe even an inch above, and there was nothing printing. My extruder up here um, got really tight and sheared off my filament, so no filament was being pushed through. So after trying to get out that, you, know, you can see if I go this way, that brass um, gear, had to drill it out and put on a new one, and I put on a, a different spring to loosen the tension a little bit, I got it running again. Well, it wasn't printing well. Uh, my first layer wasn't sticking. Uh, I was getting little strings everywhere. And this thing is pooping out filament. Why? Anyway, um, getting strings everywhere. So I tried that a bunch of times. I went into Cura. I changed combing from not in skin to within infill. And I was like, wow, my first layer is going great. And it was working well. And then I looked at it, you know, maybe an hour into it, and it's just, it's horrendous. I got retraction issues all over the place. I got blobs all over the place. So maybe combing was not my issue. I know my Z offset is good. Um, it just was. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take this off. This was from this morning, and then I had to leave. Just pops right off, which is nice, but you can see what's left. There's a little nibs everywhere, and those are actually on the board. So I think one of the things I'm going to do, I'm going to try and eliminate problems. I'm going to take this upstairs and wash the heck out of it with Dawn dish soap. A few times, come down, use my 91 isopropyl. Maybe that's part of my problem. I'm also going to come down here with me. See? Uh, it's just, it's oozing out. And I don't know why it keeps oozing. That is not cold, by the way. That's very hot. That's at 200 degrees. I'm trying to get off. All right, we got to cool this thing down. So anyway, my goal, can you see that? Watch that. Let me just put my hand there. So maybe, come on, focus. Focus. It's just oozing out. Oh, there you go. Just using all by itself, like it has back pressure on it, and I don't know why. And maybe that's part of my problem with my prints is that there is some sort of pressure on it. Don't know. Um, but the rest of the nozzle is clean, so we'll uh, we'll cool this down, and then we'll knock that off and adjust our Z offset again after we wash the bed and all that good stuff. So. I'm over here. Let's turn this hot end down to zero. All right. Well, I'm going to take this apart and um, go wash it, come back and tram it and all that good stuff and take you along on the process. All right. So I just got done cleaning this with isopropyl, not isopropyl, Dawn dish soap. You know what's interesting is, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick this up. Let me see if I can get this in close. Looking at this, and the lights may be affecting it, some of these look like there's like right here. You're going to be able to see that. It looks like there's holes or shiny parts in the plate. Um, I know when I first got this, it was definitely sticky. Now it's pretty smooth, um, but I don't think that's the problem because my Ender 3 Pro that has the same board, I just keep hitting print, 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 and it does its job, and it print, print, prints, right? So, I don't know. We're going to take this. We're going to take some 91% isopropyl alcohol. Douse our rag, and we're just going to wipe this thing down. You know, I'll do it again once I install it because, you know, I'm touching it. So, anyway, 
So that's that. I do have a piece of parchment paper in between. Um, I don't know. I heard that this can get adhered to the glass bed. I don't know if that was an old Ender 3 problem or what, but I just like to put that in there. I did pick up these glass clips from Amazon. They're like, uh, I don't know which ones they are, uh, but they're great compared to that other style. Uh, they really are. All right. So you just put these in. I like to move them out to the edge as far as possible. Come on. And then we're going to go through the tramming. What am I hitting? See, over here is a little bit harder because you hit the, the bed mat underneath. All right. So that's there. I touched this, felt it up pretty good. So let's do this. Now, I'm going to retram this, okay? To retram this, and uh, we're going to use the Emrisco C firmware that's on here. And there's a tramming wizard. This is just the easy way to get to it across the bottom. All right, so that's going to take a minute to home and then start tramming. Uh, while you're waiting for that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Let's zoom this in. Um, yeah, let's just wait. All right, here it goes. So I like this. It's going to hit that. 0 0.07, 0 0.08, 0 0.09, and 0 0.06. Now oh, that's really funny. 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, I'm going to tighten it down just a hair on both sides, and we're just going to rerun it, tram it, 0 0.07, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, and 0 0.06. I know, it's like minute changes here, but I want to go into this perfect. So we're going to go for a, we're going to go, this is it. Oh, what? I went the wrong way. Son of a gun. I loosened. I didn't tighten. So we got to go. That's going to come down. We'll bump that up a notch. Last time, I promise. Um, 106, 07, 06, and 07. We're going to go with that. I mean, it's within 0 0.01 of each other. So we're going to hit continue. I know it probably doesn't matter, but I am going to store the setting. We're going to go back. Now let's do our Z offset. So our Z probe, I am just going to make this just a little bit higher so it doesn't crash into the bed. Let's auto home it. All right, and now let's move to the Z home. Fly. Oh, I missed it. It would have been cool if I caught that on camera. All right, here's our paper. Uh, let's set our Z probe offset. Very loose. It was 255 before. I know my nozzle was clean. Sixty's got quite a bit of grab to it. Sixty-two's got a lot of grab. Let's go with two sixty, two point six zero. All right, we definitely have to store this. All right. Now the last thing we're going to do is just run our bed mesh. It's going to take a minute to heat up the bed before it does it. So I'm going to hit the pause button and bring you back when it's uh, when it's ready. All right. So our bed heated up. It's now running through the um, leveling process. Let me zoom you in a little bit here. And you can see that as it builds the mesh, 
my mesh is pretty level. I mean, point, the outsides are going to be the ones that are, are the big ones. 0 0.08 probably. Oh, I nailed it. 0 0.07. So the biggest difference here is point. 0 0.04 plus 0 0.07, so one point something. Let's save our mesh. Mesh zero save. And in our, you didn't see that, sorry. It said mesh zero save down there. Um, in my G code, I have M420 S0 for the, I think that does the, zero um, mesh load. But they don't really move that much because there's not a big difference in that. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get you set up. I'm going to put this on hyperlapse. And we're going to watch the first layer. And I'm going to use a file. Let me go through here. Make sure I have it. 13 hour V2 Neo. Okay, that's what I'm going to use. Um, it's the one that has worked in the past. Should be working. We're going to see what happens with a super clean bed. Um, if it still does it, I guess my next step is to change the nozzle and then tick off one thing at a time. So hang tight. All right, so the print is going and it's sticking. So that's a step in the right direction. However, again, I, I got these horrible blobs all through the middle of the print. And even right there, it doesn't look like it finished because it might have dragged it off. Um, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to combat that. All of, all of like that right there and there and over here. I mean, it looks like the Z offset would be wrong. Like, why is it not drawing a line? You know, why is it pulling that off? So we're going to go ahead. We're going to stop this. We're going to change the nozzle. That's the only thing I'm going to change. I'm going to try it again. Go from there. All right. So here we are at the, hopefully fix of what the problem was and I guess it was the nozzle. Now yeah it's clogged up because I didn't I didn't bother cleaning it out. I swapped it out and um I swapped it out with one of these from Creality. I'm trying to do this with two hands here, hold on. With one of these point four nozzles and uh see if I can dig one out for you. One of these, and as you can see, I don't have retraction problems. Everything looks pretty good. I mean, right there on that edge, it looks like maybe on just those one, two, three, four, five, six uh, triangles, only on that edge. But other than that, this first layer is going down beautifully. So if you're having problems like I showed you in mine, Maybe just change out the nozzle. I'm going to throw this thing out. I'm not even going to bother trying to save it. I thought this was a hardened steel one. Hardened steel. I'm Doug. I'm not doing much. <laughs> I was actually just about to go to bed, and I came over to just check this before I, I turned in so that it would be done when I woke up. And I noticed that my print head was above my print, and nothing was printing. Came back over here, and sure enough... It had split the PLA right there at the extruder, just worn right through it. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, there's no clog. I know there isn't. I've cleaned this thing so many times. I'm just frustrated. Don't know what to do. Finally got it to print good by changing the nozzle. And now it, it breaks. 
ideas? 